Hey guys, this is a quick little video about our Jeep Cherokee Trailhawk. We got a new addition to our camping equipment and we're going to use this as a tow vehicle. The Jeep Cherokee Trailhawk is rated at 4,500 pounds with a ton capacity of 450 pounds. As you can see, I just rigged up my hitch where I have the stabilizer bar on there and what we have is heavy enough we need a brake controller now this Jeep Cherokee has the tow package and to get those weights you must have the factory tow package the brake controller I mounted on this little door right here I can still access the little compartment and this is out of my way and the wire this is pre-wired for a brake controller get the tow package and you can see the plug right here is plugged in it's actually a, I got the wire harness kit that the, this, this is the brake controller, it plugs into the wire kit, and the wire kit plugs into the plug that comes with the, the Jeep. And there's a little plate right here. I know it's hard to see, it's dark in here. Let me go get a light. Okay, maybe this light helped a little bit. But there's a plate right here. You see there's a screw here? I did take that screw out. And I didn't completely remove this. I just loosened it enough that I could come up in behind here. Here's your brake pedal. In between the, this and the brake pedal, all the way to the back. Reach your hand up in there. I actually used a dowel rod because the factory plug is in a metal clip. All the way to the back and it's all the way in this back corner. And it's kind of hard to get to with your hand. So I stuck the dowel rod in there and just pushed that white plug out of the clip. And then I worked it to where I pulled down right here. And I was able to pull the factory plug out. So I could access it to plug my wire loom kit in. And then I tucked it back up in there. I didn't put it back in the clip. I just tucked it up in there and plugged it in this way. And I could, I could actually tuck this further up in there and get these wires from hanging which I will do uh, I wish I could show you exactly where that plug is up in there but it's just hard to get the camera to show anything but it's it's quite a ways back up in there and like I said you can get it without taking this thing completely off I I looked at it I couldn't figure out how to get this plate plumb off and I was afraid it was going to break something so I just did a work around but it I got the all-electric brake controller. I put an Amazon link to the kit that I got, the wire kit and this brake controller. This just cheap one, and uh, we have already pulled with it. And uh, it took me a while to get the settings adjusted just right, but I got it adjusted to where it's braking pretty smooth and does everything that we need to do for what we got. But anyway, I just thought I'd show you where I mounted it, where the plug is, because if you pull anything very heavy, you're going to need it, and it works great. We had no problem pulling what we got. Uh, we pulled it from Dallas to Texarkana, a lot of interstate, passing semis and everything, and at this time, we didn't have the stabilizer bar, and we had no issues at all. Uh, but I did add the stabilizer bar just for safety reasons. Uh, I might mention too that this Cherokee also has uh, sway detection built into it. If it detects that your trailer is swaying, the computer will start using your brakes and slow your motor or your speed down and try to get that trailer sway under control. And of course, once it you feel it doing it you know there's an issue you need to pull over and figure out why you're getting all that sway maybe the trailer's not loaded right or you know just figure out what's going on with it 
but a lot of people don't realize that these Cherokees are rated to tow a pretty good amount if you get the tow package and uh, we did pull uh, I'm gonna say we're right at 3,000 pounds and tongue weights probably about 360 pounds I think it's what I weighed loaded and we'll reveal what we picked up soon uh, this video is just talking about this brake controller and the fact that y'all can tow with these Cherokees and I've had a lot of people tell me oh you're gonna tear up your transmission and they're not made to tow Jeeps are notorious for bad transmissions and Jeeps these did have issues with their transmissions in the early years and I know there's a few people that still have issues but uh, so far, we haven't had any issues, and from the factory, they are made to tow. Uh, how many vehicles in this class come with uh, sway control detection, uh, wired for a brake controller, can tow 4,500 pounds, and have a tongue weight of 450 pounds? How many vehicles in that class do you know can do it? And uh, we towed this thing pulled like a champ and had with the brake controller had no issues stopping at all uh didn't even break a sweat and we were pulling 65 75 on the interstate we had semis pass us we passed semis we had semi on one side of us and semi passing us at the same time so uh no issues whatsoever all the temperatures stayed within range so, uh, you know, the Cherokee is capable of towing. Now, y'all that's been hollering, oh, you don't need to be pulling because you're going to tear your transmission up. Well, I've got a warranty. Jeep says that it can tow X amount of um, weight, and all the time within their limits, then uh, they're going to have to put another transmission in it if I mess it up. But anyway, I don't think there's going to be any issues at all. And looking forward to uh, many miles of towing our new camper and uh, I just wanted to show y'all the brake controller and where the plug is and that you are able to pull with your Jeep Cherokee okay guys we are going to measure the Jeep fender to the ground front and rear and also from the hitch to the ground without the trailer being hooked up and then we're going to put the trailer on the hitch and remeasure let's do the front first The front is at 33 and 5 eighths. One thing to keep in mind is I have a two inch lift on this Cherokee. Now let's measure the back. The back is at 34 inches. Now let's measure the hip. The hitch is at 20 and a quarter inches from the bottom of the hitch to the ground. Now I'm going to hook the trailer up and we'll remeasure. Okay, now the hitch didn't actually pop down on the ball, but all the weight of the camper is on the back of the Jeep right now. So let's go back to the front and remove it. This 
the front is close enough to 34 inches that we're going to call it 34 inches. So it actually went up. The back is at 33 and a quarter. So the back is 33 and one quarter. The hitch to the ground is at 19 inches. So the hitch difference, it dropped one inch. And that's with uh, 368 pounds of tongue weight. So as you see, it's not bad at all for, for what we had. Now, uh, the manual said if you're towing over 3,500 pounds, you need to use a weight distribution hitch. But I just thought I'd measure this out and let y'all know how the Jeep sits with that kind of weight on it. And our trailer weight is right around 3,000 pounds.